Hi, Robin Singer, the Merck Professor. We're here at Mercury Marine's propeller facility where we build the stainless steel propeller. And I'm here with Justin, and Justin's going to kind of walk us through a little bit about what happens. But Justin, it all starts with the wax, doesn't it? Yep. Uh, basically, we use uh, wax pastilles, um, melt them down, um, then we inject them into, uh, into a die that's precisely cut to uh, get your pitch and uh, rake. And then, um, then we'll use a virgin wax uh, for the patterns, uh, reclaim wax for the cups, and then we'll stick them together with sticky wax and use a, uh, a refining filter in between to uh, refine the metal flow. So at all mercury stainless steel propellers, it's about the secret formula that we can hold a tolerance. Uh, we get this rather, now the next process is we start dipping it. What happens there now? Um, so then we use a uh, few silica based uh, slurry. Um, and then we'll alternate coats of slurry and stucco sand to build a uh, to build a coat around the the wax, and that'll make a mold to pour the metal in. So, so, so how many times do we do that? How many different coats do we put on there? Uh, we'll use a fine coat for the first layer. Um, that'll dry for about two hours. Then we'll use uh, four, five, or six backup coats, and those will be four hours dry in between, and then a final dry of about 24 hours. Wow, this is getting heavy. So now what's the next step? What do we do after this here? Uh, then we put it into an autoclave. Um, so that's basically a big boiler. We pressurize the steam um, up to about 120 PSI. Um, so that'll make about 400 degrees uh, in the autoclave chamber and that'll melt the wax out very quickly. Um, so then you'll melt the wax out of the, uh, the ceramic shell, then you'll fire it and that'll center all the sand grains together, make a really tough mold and then strong mold, not tough. Um, but then you'll pour the, uh, pour the metal into it. Uh, we use two different alloys of stainless steel, a uh, 15.5 for normal production propellers, and then uh, X7 for uh, high demands for strength, so racing applications or uh, bass boat applications. So this is what it looks like when it comes out then. We're ready to uh, start working on the prop now. Here's yep. the casting. So this is the casting and the pouring cup. Uh, we'll cut the pouring cup off right, uh, right at the filter line, basically, um, and then we'll start polishing it. Um, We'll do a uh, stainless steel shot bead blast first to remove the chrome oxide layer. Um, then you'll be left with this finish. Um, we'll chisel out any ceramic that's left. Um, and then we'll start machining on it. So um, this one's been sanded, but you'll see uh, we machine the labby seal, either a receiver or male uh, labby seal. And then some propellers get splined. So uh, if you can see that, um, we'll machine the receiver and then pull a broach bar through that's got uh, the spline profile on it. So, so Justin, the end result is uh, the okay. famous Mercury propeller. It's about acceleration, it's about speed, it's about giving that customer fuel economy. All done up here in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin.